third stimulus check and stimulus package update as of February 27th, 2021. Well, as you suspected, the House did pass the relief, the COVID relief bill last night after my update. So I thought I'd get back to you on this. But as you know, this, this uh, current stimulus package that the House passed contains the $1,400 stimulus checks. It contains the super-powered unemployment supercharged on our uh, powered unemployment of $400 boost per week, as well as much more. And the unemployment, like I said, is supposed to be boosted through August 29th of this year. Well, this, pa this bill was passed by the House of Representatives with a vote of 219 to 212. Here's a breakdown of what the um, votes looked like. And as you can see, the one who didn't vote, cast their vote, was Republican Representative Mike Bost, because he didn't want to cast his vote, basically. All House Republicans voted against the bill, as well as two Democrats. They were Jared Golden and Carrick Shady, voting against the bill because they believe, they feel, I'll say, they feel the bill is poorly targeted. Hmm. Surprisingly. Now this bill is off the Senate, where now it can be heavily modified. <laughs> That's right, you heard me, heavily modified. The $1,400 stimulus checks and unemployment aren't the sticking points. The sticking points are, as I reported earlier, is the minimum wage increase. As we know, this bill has the minimum wage increase in it, but the Senate parliamentarian is not permitted um, to let this in because it says it's against the, the, the Senate budget rules. And it's also, and it can't be put in Reconciliation Act. As you know, there are other ideas out on the, on the table. So party leaders are already working on something that can take the place of the minimum wage portion of this bill. And the Democrats need all the all the votes that they can get to pass this bill. So basically, they need all 48 Democrats and two independents to pass this vote. And as we know, um, Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema are still against the minimum wage increase. So that's why the Senate is working on something to put in its place that actually might agree with them because they're in, as I reported, in very heavily um, Republican states and the Democrats. In that nice, right? The bill has an informal deadline of March 14th to pass because of uh, basically that's around the time when the Trump stimulus package is going to expire. Now there's some Democrats in on the left wing of the party that are pushing for um, unilateral action to pass the minimum wage, as well as progressive other progressive actions. Representative Alexandria Agostino Cortez reacted to the parliamentarian's ruling. She said, if people in the country said, send us to government to change lives, we have a mandate to change those lives. So I really, our options right now, at least our immediate options on this specific issue is something about to, some, to go something around the parliamentarian's obstacle or to abolish the filibuster. The filibuster means they actually have to have 60 votes to pass a bill instead of, uh, I think, what is it, uh, two thirds of the vote, uh, um, voters to pass a bill through so standard ways. And recon reconciliation requires only 50 votes, which means if the Democrats can get all aboard there, plus the two independents, they got the 50 votes, then Camilla Harris would be a tiebreaker, pick, making it 51 votes. But abolishing the filibuster would permanently remove, like I said, permanently remove all 60 votes for requirement to apply for most Senate legislation. Vice President Harris overruling the parliamentarian's decision would also allow the Senate to pass the minimum wage increase with a vote of 50-50 in the Senate, basically. So basically, there's two options they have there. They could actually abolish a filibuster, or they could have... Uh, Camilla Harris, the vice president, overrule the Senate parliamentarian's decision. I don't know what's going to go on with that yet. Information has not been revealed yet. 
And also Democrats have been also been making moves to bringing back earmarks alongside the ongoing stimulus bill. And House Appropriations Committee Chair Rosa Delaro announced a new plan for earmarks that might sorry that she made she uh, sorry she had a new announced a new plan for earmarks last night. Earmarks are now called community project funding, giving representatives a chance to make funding requests for a district. Now, this plan only applies to the House, but rumors say that the Senate is also going to try to bring back earmarks as well. We will find out what happens as far as the Senate goes in the earmarks and the Senate goes in the stimulus package, but we do know that the stimulus package is going to be heavily modified. I don't really believe they're going to hit the fourteen hundred dollars stimulus checks. They they might try to modify the unemployment, but I can guarantee you this: that minimum wage increase, they're not going to put that through, and they're going to try to modify it or abolish it altogether. And as you heard me yesterday, how I mentioned how uh, Senator, Senator Bernie Sanders is trying to come up with a different way to increase the minimum wage through certain means. And if you watch my video from yesterday, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, but until then. Since I don't have that, that clip currently in this video, I will actually end my current series video by saying I hope you guys had a wonderful night out there. Please stay safe and remember, we're all in this together. So until next time, be happy and be safe. Bye. My mother told me someday I would buy gummies with good oars and sails to distant shores. Stand up high and